Can you guys hear me? Can you let me know if you can hear me, please, once you get here? Hey, what's up? How's it going? Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Hey, Amber, how's it going? Good to see you. Can you hear me okay? Is everything clear? I know sometimes lives can be a little wonky with the connection. Sometimes we get a little laggy. Hello, hello, what's up? I'm just gonna give it like a few more minutes because y'all know YouTube be playing as far as letting people know that anyone has uploaded a video or has gone live, you know. Okay, you can hear me good. Thanks, Amber. You guys, Amber has a YouTube channel as well, and I believe in 2021 she's going to be bringing us more content. So I um, highly recommend you go over to her channel and you follow her. And her name is Amber, so I mean the vibe, you know. Everyone have a good Christmas. What were y'all up to? Did anyone travel? Did you just stay home? This lag is something serious. Please check video resolution. Yes. Okay, how many people we got? Okay, it looks like 10. Did you guys purchase any makeup for Christmas? What'd you get? What'd you get? Yay, she is coming back in 2021. Good news, good news. Hey, Lisa, how's it going? You ready to see the Fenty products? I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> I promise. Well, we got, okay, cool. We're going to get started. So, you guys, everyone knows Fenty dropped powder foundation yesterday. And I, hey, 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 Ashley, hey, Cynthia. And if you follow me, you know I am a powder fan. I prefer powder foundation over liquid foundation. I know that's not the typical opinion, but, you know, I'm not a very typical person. But so I was super pumped about it. I went into Sephora yesterday with my mom because my mom is here visiting, by the way. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know my mom is a lively human being. Um, the football game is on, so my mom and Marilla are watching the football game as Washington Redskins. Well, no longer Redskins, just Washington. That's my mom's team. I grew up watching the Redskins, and Marilla is a Carolina Panthers fan, which is where we live, Charlotte, North Carolina. So if you hear noise, I apologize. But went to a Sephora yesterday just to see if it would be in one and just to see if it would be in there and it wasn't. I went to a Sephora at JCPenney's and I don't know about you guys and where you live. Hey Rhea, what's up girl? I just bought the Fenty powder in Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Oh yes, yes girl. Powder foundation is so easy, yes. And powder foundation does work better with the mask. We'll touch base on that. Anyway, like I was saying, I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like the Sephora's and JCPenney's, they don't ever have jack squat. So I went ahead and ordered it online yesterday. And I was just like, fine, whatever, I'll go ahead and order it. And then today, hey, Mia Boca, how are you? No, you're not late. We just, we just got started. We just got started. And something said, sis, just check to see if it's available in the other Sephora by you. And... Sweet God in heavens, checked, and I was like, Marillo, they have it, and he said, girl, go get it, so I went and I got it, 
The other one that I ordered yesterday won't be here until Wednesday. So what I will probably do is exchange that one to get something else. And I'll tell you what I'm going to get. So let me show you all what I got. All right. So Fenty Beauty Powder in the shade 410, as you can see. Beautiful. I went with 410 because I'm oily. So my typical foundation shade in the Pro Filter liquids, either the uh, matte in the hydrating one, is 420. And then occasionally, I think I dabbled in 400, but 400 can be a little too warm. But the reason why I did 410 is because this is what I always do with my powder foundations. I always go a shade lighter if possible. I know when people see this, they probably think, oh my God, this is gonna be too light. But for me, I have oily skin. And so once I put this onto my skin, it always sinks in. But by the time my oil pushes through, it makes it a little bit darker. Now, a lot of people think that is oxidation. That is not oxidation. That is just my skin warming up in the oil pushing through. So that is why I went with the shade 410. Um, I think even if you don't have oily skin, if you can maybe drop down in a shade with powder formulas just simply because powder formulas aren't like liquids and they probably aren't parallel within the brand so just you know my little professional opinion so i got that and then i got these two weeks ago i got the fenty cream gloss bombs this one is in the shade honey waffles and this one is in the shade cookie jar y'all know i'm a sucker for nudes and browns so got those let's see I found it daunting to choose a shade online. Yes, since I don't have a liquid foundation, I went with 445 because everybody on YouTube is saying that the powder runs a little darker. Yes, yeah, so here's the thing. I totally get why Fenty is daunting because it is a heck of a lot of shades, you guys. That is something that I always have to think of now. Like, I've had to train myself to not always think in makeup artistry terms, terms, especially when I bring you guys content, because y'all aren't makeup artists, you know? And when I look at Fenty, Fenty is bomb. Fenty is the go right now. They are killing it. On the flip side of that, like I was explaining to someone on Instagram the other day because they were messaging me asking what shade they thought I should get, sometimes too much of a good thing is too much. Because, you know, if you're not familiar with undertones and formulas and how shades work, this is, it's a lot. It is a lot. And then especially if you're someone who does already struggle with finding your shade in Fenty, it, I totally see how it could be a struggle. I feel like Fenty does a great job when it comes to the warmer side. I don't think they do terrible with cool and neutral, but they just seem to have the warm side on lock. So if you tend to kind of fall in that cool, neutral, I think those people tend to struggle a little bit with Fenty. Again, that's just my personal and professional opinion. I didn't even know they came out with powder foundation until I saw you post. <laughs> yeah, girl. You're not late. You're not late. I was watching your luxury worthy products all waiting for this video. <laughs> hey, it's okay, precious. I haven't bought makeup since March. Ooh, Donna, you clap it up for Donna. You are you're the GOAT. I'm into skincare now. Absolutely, because we got to take care of our skin, y'all. So speaking of skin, I did get some Fenty skin. Okay, so I'm going to be real with you. I'm always skeptical when celebrities come out with any brands. However, Rihanna has proven to us that she's got this thing on lock. And I don't really budge much when it comes to skincare. However, again, Riri, she has made me a believer and I needed a new night cream anyway and so when I saw that they had this I was like okay cool now let me preface this by saying I am not an esthetician okay I have a cosmetology license cosmetology does not go deep deep into aesthetics I like to stay in my wheelhouse you know what I mean I know a little bit about a little bit I know about oily skin because that is all that I have so when it comes down to the ingredients and all that I'm not your girl with that. However, from my understanding and from my little bit of knowledge, when I was really reading through and looking at all of the details for the skincare, to me, it sounds like it's going to be really good for oily skin. Now, again, I ain't nobody's esthetician. That's just my personal opinion from a little bit of knowledge that I have learned and from just my own skin. So I got this and... <sighs> I accidentally bought the refill, which I'm a little annoyed about, so it doesn't have a top. 
I got online a few minutes ago to see if I could go exchange it, and all the Sephora's in my in Charlotte, North Carolina, are all sold out of this. So I'm gonna use it, and I'm gonna get some more Fenty care, um, skincare. So when I get the other 410 that I ordered yesterday in in on Wednesday, it said I'm just gonna exchange that for other Fenty skincare products, and I'm gonna do like a month long vlog, which I feel like a month still isn't long enough, but I'm gonna do it to try it out, and we're also going to see if we can get Marilla to try some of the stuff. I know he'll try this because we have totally different skin types. He's very, very dry. And then that way I can kind of get an idea of how it looks on dry skin. But I got that. And then I got the Rare Beauty Concealer. I'll be real with you. I was not checking for Rare Beauty. Not because it was bad. Just nothing grabbed my attention. I walked past that display and saw all those shades and I was like, whoa, hold on a second. So I got the concealer, which I think I'm going to like this a lot. I've got some, oh yeah, I've got some new eye primer here. We're going to try the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer because I've been out of my Urban Decay for a hot minute. And then this Bougie Buy was just one of those luxury purchases that I just, again, was walking by and I was just like, this is so minimal. This is so basic but it just grabbed my attention and I kept going back to look at it. It's a NARS eyeshadow palette, totally not necessary. Again, it just grabbed my attention for some reason. So since it grabbed my attention, I grabbed it and put it in my bag. And this is what it looks like. Again, do we have these? Yes. However, another COVID purchase. Who cares, right? Let's get into this. I'm going to go ahead and put my little Fenty skin away because I'm going to use that later tonight. So I've only seen a few videos with this. And one thing that I, I don't want to say I didn't like, it's just not my vibe. I wouldn't do it. So this is kind of, from my understanding, through what I'm seeing, it's marketed as a whatever type of powder you want it to be. And for me, it's a soft matte powder foundation. So what I'm basically getting at is a powder foundation I would not use to set a liquid powder. Now, of course, you do you. You can do whatever you want. I am not the makeup Bible, okay? So if that's what you want to do, cool. But here in my house, how we roll over here, we want simple. We just want to put it on and go. So I will not be putting on a foundation and using this to set just simply because I believe it's a medium to buildable coverage. And so if I already have on a foundation, especially if it's full coverage, the last thing I would want to do is go in with a powder foundation. That's just going to add more coverage because to me, that screams cake. I don't care what they say. Oh, well, this foundation is not going to get cakey. This powder is not going to get cakey. I don't care what type of skin type you have. If you're using a full coverage foundation and then you're going over it to set with a powder foundation, you're going to get a little cake. That's, again, my professional opinion. But, you know, do you. If that's what you like to do, do you. But that's not what we're doing. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold on. We've got comments. Um... Will you guys be doing a skincare Sunday on IG? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Okay, you guys, so typically what I've been doing, I've been doing a little skincare Sunday. So, yeah, we'll do that tonight, and you'll get my first impressions on that. So, after I'm done here, I will do my skincare Sunday on Instagram, and you guys will see me take off my makeup and use the Fenty um, night cream. And then next Sunday will be the full once I get the rest of the Fenty products. So, yeah, absolutely, we can do that. I'm sorry, I don't know if I have, like, a lint or something on my nose. I'm good on celebrity skincare. The makeup seems easier to get into. Totally understandable. I typically don't vibe with it, but I was just kind of like, let, let me check on this. Let's see. Hey, Lori, what's up? How you doing? Fenty skin is good. I like the fat water the most. Yeah, and the other thing that got my attention about the Fenty skin was that it's clean at Sephora, and I know that's kind of a polarizing situation sometimes because when you see they have that stamp of approval with clean it makes you think well Jesus are all the other products dirty <laughs> you know and that's not what it means I feel like the clean at Sephora just kind of gives you a little bit it's your insurance policy if you will it's basically stating that hey the ingredients in here ain't gonna tear you up you know what I mean of course everyone has different skin sensitivities but basically the ingredients in here are legit they're safe that's kind of how I take it all right, let's do this. So in the name 
of Fenty. We are going to rock some Fenty Cream Bronzer under our powder foundation because I think y'all would maybe want to see that. But first, okay, Rare Beauty, Senora Selena Gomez here. I'm in the shade 430W, and this seems to be a really good shade match for me. And you guys might want me to zoom in a little bit. Hold on, you're going to see a square for just a moment. Zoom in as tight as I can. Okay, there we go. Is that good? Yes. And I personally, I just like to use a sponge. Ooh, this blend, you guys. And this concealer was $19, and her foundation was $29. I was like, come on, Selena. I love that. I love that it's in that mid range you know what i mean i think that's dope oh wow and i believe this was light was this light to medium i'm not 100 percent sure don't don't take my word on that i will check in just a moment if this is supposed to be light to medium but i know it's supposed to be more radiant which i do not mind under the eyes which doesn't really last long the radiance with me because i do always set with powder but man this blends out beautifully. Okay. And I like this shade. It is not orange at all because sometimes our concealers, when they have a W, they can be a little warm. It's not too warm and it's not too yellow either. It's a warm neutral, which I am not mad at at all. The blend is, yeah, okay, this is very easy to use. I'm digging it. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then I am going to set under my eyes really quick because if not, it will get creasy. So I'm just going to take the slightest. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ashley. It's, yeah, it. It caught my eye. I was just kind of like, yep, let's grab that. And for $19, absolutely. I'm just going to go in with the slightest touch of the Laura Mercier honey, translucent honey. Of course, if you are drier, you might not use it. Okay, now we're going to go in with a Fenty Cream Contour. So, of course... We don't want to, well, I don't, I'm not going to put cream over a powder foundation because that's going to be a nightmare. So I am just going to take the other, well, yeah, other side here. This is in the shade Chocolate. I love this. I use this on my competitions for my contour, and it looks fantastic. So we are just going to go ahead, and yes, it's marketed as a bronzer, but on me, this is definitely more so of a contour. And you guys, please don't mind my hair. This is like two-day-old hair. My hair is about expired. I should have washed my hair two days ago. And don't worry, I have my whole styling my hair from start to finish coming up shortly. And I forgot to mention that I have no makeup on, just my brows. But I'm pretty sure y'all figured that out. I'm going to put a little on the five head because the five head is popping as per usual. Hey, hey, more people coming in, catching the live session with you for the first time. Oh, I'm so glad you were able to catch it. I feel like today is a good day because a lot of people, you know, are just kind of chilling at home over the holidays. Okay, and then because my hair is short, I like to just, I don't know, I like to snatch my jaw. I do, not going to lie. Because when you have short hair, basically nothing but your face is on display. So I'm like, yeah, let's just make me look snatched. Especially now that I don't have diet crackhead face because I'm out of prep. Your girl is back at maintenance late. My face is full, fluffy. We got calories in this. 
oh, and I have a few spots left for my nutrition coaching too. If you want to go ahead and start your new year right with your nutrition habits, I can help you. Okay, so we're going to take the powder foundation and we are going to go right on over the contour, the cream contour. That is what I would do. So basically, if I had on the liquid, I would do the liquid first, then put the cream on, and then I would set the whole thing with translucent powder. The reason why is because I've just found if you lay down a cream product, especially a contour, and then you go over it with the contour powder, it can be very tricky to blend and it gets muddy. But when you have the liquid on and you put your cream and you set your whole face to translucent powder and then go over with your contour, it makes it much easier to blend. So the same setup basically, but we just don't have liquid powder on. So liquid foundation on, sorry. So now we're going to go ahead, jump into the powder because I know this is what y'all want and we are at 21 minutes. So weapon of choice here. All right, let's talk about it. I'll show you my three favorite brushes. First one, Eco Tools Powder Brush. I have had this brush for a long time. This brush is not going to run you any more than I believe $7. This is bomb. It's nice and fluffy. You can use it for a translucent powder, light setting. If you want a light powder foundation, not anything too much where you're packing it on, you can go with this. Next up, we have the Real Techniques Powder Brush. So this one is a little bit tighter, a little bit more dense. Um, this is going to be great if you want a little bit more coverage with the powder. And then we have this Sonia G brush, which you already know what time it is. Sonia G is just superb. But this is a flat top powder brush. And if you're someone who likes to just get a little bit more coverage and you want to do the stippling motion, you can do so. We're going to go right in the middle. Real Techniques brushes, you guys. Ooh. Blush brush. This brush here is the lightweight brush. I use that for bronzer, contour, and then the setting up under the eyes. Y'all, bangers, all right? So let's go ahead in with the powder brush from, oh crap, I'm making a mess. Real Techniques. Ooh. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go right on over the contour bronzer, whatever you want to call it. And don't worry, I will do my official wear test on Wednesday. I plan on filming that because yeah, I, I have a full book in salon on Wednesday. And so I am just pressing this into the skin. First impet impressions. First impressions so far, I am feeling like I look a touch warm. I don't know if you guys are pulling that, if it's pulling through on camera, but my skin looks very, very smooth. It is soft matte. It's, it's like a creamy matte formula. That's the only way that I can describe it. Creamy matte. Um, as far as coverage, I have dark spots over here from previous acne and I'm trying to see how much I can build and it is apparent that I can build this up a lot. So that is good. So it really is buildable. I like how my skin is looking. Um, I think once I do the other side, I think everything's going to pull together. So here's my neck and chest. What are you guys thinking so far? Oops. I did not set well under my eye. There we go. Let me see what y'all are saying. Yes, Team Sonia G, absolutely. I have quite a few real techniques brushes. Gotta get the infamous Sonia G. Yeah, girl. You won't you won't be disappointed. Is the video lagging for anyone else? Probably so. That that's just live streaming sometimes. I am so sorry about the lag. On my end, it says good connection, but y'all know how the interwebs be. I apologize if it's lagging. 
The color match looks really good. It looks good. I can see how it's evening out your complexion. Yeah, no doubt. This evened me out really, really good. My Makeup Forever in Matte Fix Plus Powder might have some competition. And you definitely do not need to use this to set your foundation. That's just my two cents, though. Do what you want with that information. I'm behind, but I did the same thing. We're online. They said, girl, just go to the store. Right? <laughs> because they didn't say online when it was going to be in store. I don't know if anyone noticed that. Fenty didn't say when it was going to be on, in store. Um, Sephora didn't say. I saw on the hashtag so in Sephora JCPenney, but it didn't give a date. But whatever. I got 400 since I wear 410. I think you're going to be all right, Asia girl. Let me look at and because everyone that got the 410 said it was a bit warm, they all were closer. 410 is a liquid. Okay, apparently 400 powder is equal to makeup forever. Hmm, maybe, you know what I might do? I might switch out that 410 I ordered for shade 400, so that way we can have another comparison. How much red I'm seeing so far? I feel like Scarlet was a little red, but no, no, that was still some kind of warm. Yeah, no, I thought I was a little warm as well. I am definitely going to get shade 400. I'll see if you guys can. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it clearly. Because I did snap a photo of it. I thought I'm... I don't know if you guys can see. That's when I was in Sephora today. That's shade 400. So what I will probably do before I do the wear test, I will probably get that shade first just to, just to be sure. Okay, let's do the other side now. Yeah, and that's the thing with um, powder foundations. Powder foundations are way more for forgiving than liquid foundations. Like, if your powder foundation is off a little bit, it's okay. And that's the other thing, too. Like, I feel like when it comes to foundations, like, of course, you don't want it to be off. But I feel like people are kind of shooting for unrealistic perfection shade matching, which you got to understand, especially when you're dealing with women of color, black women, we're more than one shade, okay? So that's why when you put on your concealer and then you put on your foundation, it's just going to help create a balance, you know? I have only ever found one foundation that matched me 100%, and that is the Dior Backstage. That is probably, hands down, the most perfect foundation match I have ever, I've ever used. I don't currently own it anymore. I ran out, and I was going to purchase more in 2021 however that little stint your pull today with their what is it the, the sponge I can't even think the sponge foundation basically they launched I guess in new packaging and it had three shades I'm kind of like Dior y'all got the budget and the Dior backstage beautiful shade range and in the other two Dior forever and another one beautiful shade range. So cushion, that's what it is, the cushion foundation. So why on God's green earth did, did they launch three shades for the cushion for this special edition packaging? I have no earthly idea. All right, y'all. So how are we feeling? How are we feeling? Um, oh, I miss some looks very forgiving. Uh -huh. It's in the regular, Lori. I went to the um, one in Arboretum today. Thanks, Ashley. Thank you. My skin is a bottle. My skin in a bottle is Clinique's. Yeah, everyone's got, you know, their, their brands that just have their shade, you know, and that's okay. Looks great. Looks great. Hey, Natasha, how are you? Your photos on Instagram are so cute. Merry Christmas. I, my skin looks 
freaking flawless. Okay? Like, let me zoom y'all out. Hold on. I'm going to see a square for just a moment. Make sure we focus. Skin looks flawless, y'all. I am not mad at the skin whatsoever. Do I think it might be just like, and I don't know if it's just, I have to see it in natural light too. Obviously, it's dark outside, but looking on the camera, I'm not mad. Not mad at all. Okay, let me throw on a little bit of, you know what, I'm just going to throw on some of my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer really quickly. This is in the shade number three, because we about to balance this bad boy out. That is why I love powder foundations. One, they are easy. Easy, easy, easy to put on. Two, they are forgiving. Even if it's not 100% spot on, like with your powder foundation, your powder foundation can be 90% on and you'll be okay. You know, look at foundation, you need to be like at least about a good 95 to 97% to, to on. Otherwise, a mess, okay? All right, so I'm loving what are we saying? Looks amazing. I'm going to go pick it up this week. Does the foundation have the same feel on the skin as her bronzer? I honestly do not remember what the bronzer feels like because personally, I'm not a fan of the bronzer. Not because of, I don't remember, I don't remember a feel. It was just a shade for me. However, I can tell you that the consistency of this, it's very smooth, it's soft, and it's creamy. That's the only way that I can describe it. It's it doesn't feel chalky and dry like some other powders can feel. My face is darker than my body, so even when my foundation matches my skin, yeah, really well, it still looks too dark. Yeah, that, that's a struggle some people have as well. I would have been thinking of that as a picture. Pretty full kit, mini gloss, and diamond ball. Oh, that's dope! It looks, it's very, it's buttery. Like, I used to hate it when all beauty YouTubers say, it's so buttery and creamy. This ish is, le it's legit buttery and creamy, 100%. Does it smell? No. I don't, I don't notice a fragrance at all. Mm -mm. And when I was putting it on my face, I didn't notice any fragrance. Okay, let me... Fill in a little bit more. highest coverage I think the matte studio fix plus has the highest coverage and then after that I would say the Maybelline super step wait hold on really quick guys let me see if I can find that Maybelline powder Got it. Yeah, the um, Maybelline Super Stay. This right here, coverage for your behind. This is really good, also. Yeah, absolutely. So that is what I have been doing. If I just want to wear a little something on my face, because I honestly. 
just miss the whole effort of getting ready in the morning. I like that. I work in the beauty industry, so I don't exactly feel professional with just nothing on my face. So if I am going to go with some sort of foundation, I've been going with powder. So I've either been doing Laura Mercier, Translucent, and Dark, which of course isn't going to give me coverage. No big deal. I'm not going for coverage. Or I'll just grab my Makeup Forever Powder Foundation. That is what I've been doing. Um, I think that powder foundation, if you're going to wear it, if you're like me and you're just like, well, listen, I need to put a little something on my face. I think powder foundation is definitely the way to go under a mask. That's just my personal opinion. And especially, I finally got my mask me under control because your girl was on the struggle bus for a good bit. What's up, Crystal? Oh, I love Crystal. Crystal gets me in trouble with her luxury videos. So, Crystal, I'm about to put this on my eyes. This is the new NARS Saint Germain, and I know when she says it, it's going to sound so luxe and wonderful because Crystal is luxe and wonderful, but when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is a bougie purchase, and this looks like something Crystal would buy. I don't know. Did I need this? Absolutely not, but do I have these shades? Yeah, for sure, but I don't know. It was just like I said earlier, a COVID purchase, okay? Judge me kindly. Do you think it would be great for oily skin and does it oxidize? I know how you feel about, no, no, that's not a bad question at all, no. No, <laughs> I don't feel a way about oxidizing. I just hate when people say, oh my gosh, it's oxidizing, it's, and it's not, you know what I mean? And I think it's just because I understand oxidizing on a whole nother level due to being a hair color. So when people are just like, oh, it's oxidizing, I'm like, no, actually, it's not. But anywho, um, I think it is going to be really, really great for oily skin. And I'm really, really curious to see how some girls with dry skin feel about it because it's not chalky. You know what I mean? It's very, very smooth. It's very, very creamy. So I'm just curious to see how this will go on dry skin because it says that it is soft matte. And I agree with that 100%. I feel like when I use my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet, that is matte. I feel like when I use my Matte Studio Fix Powder, that is matte. Same thing for the Sephora Superstay. Those are very matte. But this, I feel like I look matte, but I don't look dried up, road hard, and put up wet. You know, like I look, I look eyed. What products do you think you're mask me the most? Um, for me, I don't think it's a product per se that makes my mask me really bad. I think it's due to me having really oily skin and I get hot at work and I start sweating. And so basically my face just becomes a warm Petri dish and makes me break out. That's truly what I think it is. Yeah, the Maybelline powder, clutch. I have no milk to dry and love powder foundations. Okay, good to know because I don't speak on things that I don't know about. Dry skin's not my struggle. Definitely need a hydrating powder primer and moisturizing. Okay, good to know. Thank you to my lovely dry skin ladies that are chiming in because like I said, I don't know. All right, let's put something on these eyes really, really fast. Oh, well, hold on. I guess I can throw on a little bit of blush. I'm just going to go with my Sasha Cosmetics blush. This is in the shade Golden Glow. That's what it looks like. It's so funny because this is one of those blushes that in the pan, like, doesn't look how you would think it would <laughs> on the cheeks. And it's like, oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that, but still a pretty color nonetheless. And then we have the Fenty Primer here. Now this NARS eyeshadow palette that I have here is not necessary whatsoever. You do not need this, okay? This was just me in Sephora minding my business and making bad decisions, okay? Oh, and I just lost a lash extension. Obsessed with my lash extensions, by the way. But 
parts do you think help with your mask me the most? Oh, okay, so when I stopped wearing liquid foundation, that helped, and then I went back to the Sunday Riley UFO clarifying oil. I started getting on that and not wearing liquid foundation, and my skin just... And then also, you know, like once I had my hot flash at work, <laughs> I would just tell my client, yo, hold on, I gotta go to the break room. And I just basically had to take the mask off in the break room for a little bit and just cool off because it is very difficult. I'm sure everyone knows y'all are wearing masks, you know. It's hard when you're in salon, hair dryers are on, your face is covered. I'm a sweater anyway, so I mean, I can just look outside and see the sun and start sweating. That's how I am. So it just... I just have to tell my client, hey girl, you're going to get your hair blown out, but I just need a moment. Otherwise, I'm going to pass out. Yeah, see, I have a love-hate relationship with NARS eyeshadow palettes because in the past when I used them, I was very, very disappointed. And then I bought one two years ago that I have in my client kit that I probably need to blow the dust off of because I haven't used it in a long time. But I just saw this and I swatched it and I was like, yeah. You're going to definitely be in my collection. And okay, so NARS formula for their eyeshadows are, they have changed. Because I do not remember them being this pigmented. That was my issue in the past. I got way too much, but that's okay. That's all right. I was not. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're just going to roll with it. So that was my issue with NARS in the past. I felt like the shadows just weren't pigmented. So I stopped buying them. But as you can see, that ain't the case. So we, we went in and, all right. Uh, Lori, are you liking your eyelashes still? I did Lori's lash extensions almost two weeks ago. You might be due for a fill either, yeah, if not this week, next week. Just shoot me a text if you want me to um, fill you, Lori, and I'll do it. Yes, it's pigmented. Nars eyeshadows don't excite me either, but <laughs> their complexion products, their complexion products are amazing. I tried wearing the soft matte foundation the other day because I was just filming some videos and I was like, Whoa, that is a little too matte for me right now. But we all know when the air gets a little bit drier, we got to Well, I have to change things up anyway. All right. Um... Let's go in with, I don't know why, I'm feeling this all over the lid. My anniversary is coming up, y'all. I can't believe I've been married for two whole years. And, you know, of course outside is not open so I'm really not sure what Lo and I are going to do. I think we might try to go get dinner somewhere. Not sure because we both are in the service industry and we just take you know this social distancing and everything very very serious. Marilla definitely does with his business because he ha actually has to go into customers homes so he's like a hundred percent super super safe and so am I so not really sure. I think we might try to get dinner somewhere. Low key. But other than that, what are y'all doing for New Year's Eve? Because typically, you know, I would do a New Year's Eve eye look because it's just fun, but ain't nobody going nowhere. So it's like, what's the point, you know? Kind of, kind of sad, to be honest. Then we are just, no, Fenty Primer. Sorry, guys, I need to talk about this. This is totally different from the Urban Decay 
Um, this one is stickier. The Urban Decay to me is not sticky, but this one isn't as thick. So it's lighter in texture. The formulation is lighter, but it seems to be a little bit stickier and tackier than the Urban Decay. The Urban Decay one honestly reminds me of just like shellac concealer. This, no, it's very, very lightweight in consistency, but it's a little bit stickier. Ah, thank you, you guys. Just want to do some good things. Ah, six years. Got married at 21. Everything in Canada is closed, so we're going to have to put our three babies to bed. And You know what? Nothing wrong with that. Happy anniversary to you, too. I'm showing up with my family, New Year's Eve, and New Year. Absolutely. My family is doing a countdown Zoom. Good. Lori, I've been thinking about your family and praying for you guys. I know y'all have had some hard times here, but just know I'm thinking about you. All right, and then to wrap this look up, I am just going to go in with this. This is really pretty. I mean, this is a New Year's Eve look. To be honest, I would totally rock this on New Year's Eve. Yeah, so I like this palette. You don't need it, don't buy it, okay? Thank you so much. And that's probably like <laughs> beauty YouTube no no to like tell someone not to buy something that you're using. But the reason why I'm saying you don't need this is because it's another eyeshadow palette. And honestly, none of us. In 2021, are going to be needing any more eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to be talking about all of that soon in a video, just like you know, 2021 goals and things that I learned from 2020 and all that. But for sure, none of us need another eyeshadow palette, okay? This is beautiful. And don't go anywhere because I still have these cream glosses I'm going to throw on. And real quick, this is something that Lori and I were talking about a good bit ago. But just like, especially now more than ever, like just be supportive. You know what I mean? Be supportive of women. I am someone, I cheered. That was my score. I was a cheerleader, so... I'm a supporter, a motivator in general, but now more than ever, I just think it's very, very important to be supportive of your loved ones, your friends, girlfriends, you know, significant others. It's just important because I feel like now more than ever, everyone just needs a, a, need a little bit more support for sure. I know I have, I've been struggling with a lot of things and I'm just very thankful for Marillo because Lord have mercy. The support that that man gives me, it is just like, Jesus, blessed and grateful, and my best friend, she's super supportive as well, so just support your people, y'all. And, you know, a lot of times people think, oh, like support, I know when I think of support, support isn't money, support is I'm praying for you, support is I'm thinking about you, support is, hey, you got this, you can do this, just keep pushing, support is just sending someone a motivational quote, a Bible verse, any of that, like that's, that's support, you know, none of this catty stuff, trying to tear other women down, like that's, that's not necessary, and honestly, it's not going to get you anywhere. Yeah, actually, you don't need any more palettes. Did you see that Natasha Denona has new lip liners? I sure did, and you know what, I just told myself, keep it pushing. Do I want it? Absolutely, I do. However, your girl is just on a strict makeup budget right now. Again, we'll talk more about all that's about to go on with me, but I've seen it. It's cute. <laughs> you don't need to buy it. <laughs> I need that stamp on my Sephora card. Honestly, like every time I check out Sephora, but first of all, one of the girls in there, she knows me. I'm just kind of like, I come in here way too much. Like we're on first name basis now. This is embarrassing. Super, super sweet. The girl Sephora in Arboretum. She's amazing. But 
every time I check out. You want to apply for a Sephora credit card? No. You know why? Because your girl's about to get out of credit card debt, and I'll, I definitely don't need that. Let's go in with, well, I'll show you guys what Honey Waffles looks like. For me, this looks best on me when I don't have any eyeshadow on because it can just kind of clash and make me look really yellow. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Ooh, my lips are chapped, Jesus, flee. I'm really shocked at how quiet Marilla and my mom are. So this is Honey Waffles. That one's pretty cute, of course, not with this eye look. And then Cookie Jar. I know I don't, but just bought one from Sigma <laughs> and made a 9 p.m. one from Makeup Geek. It's okay, girl. It's okay. We all fall short. I fell short today. This was not on my radar. Hadn't even seen this, but I just walked past it and I was like, need that. It happens. I love your eyeshadow looks, keeping it simple. I thought you were done with the two shades and it looked great. <laughs> but I have to blame you for turning me on to the indie because I went ham on her palettes this summer. I am so sorry. I know, I know, I know. I just... Well, I pray Miss Denona, and I know she won't, but if she could just hold off from releasing any eyeshadow palettes till the summertime, I would greatly appreciate it, but we all know that's not how that goes, but whatever. Supporting, uplifting each other, yes and yes. I wanted to love the colors of the creams, but the only one I think I will get is Cookie Jar. Yeah, about to put the Cookie Jar on right now. Yes to supporting and uplifting. So, here's Cookie Jar. I'm going to give you a quick little swatcheroo. So this is cookie jar, which I'm absolutely obsessed with, but hold tight, please. I want to throw on some lip liner from Sephora. Not going to happen. I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hold on, my computer's about to die. Hmm. Give me one second, let me put my charger on my computer because if it dies, then this whole thing will be cutting off. Did we freeze? No! Fair YouTube is not receiving that video from the link in the screen. What happened? Oh no! Did I lose you guys? Why am I frozen? Okay, hold on. Let's just hang tight and see if I can get this to unfreeze because if I have to end the stream, I'm going to be big mad. But, you know, there are worse things in life that could happen to us, so it really ain't that deep. Hmm. Okay. Cancel. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to end and then start it up again because I 
it says this. Oh, no, that was at six something. Okay, yeah. All right. I can't. Can't unfreeze it. So I got to stop it. And then I'll be right back. And I'll show you guys what cookie jar looks like. This is annoying. 